came to New York because I always wanted to try myself as an actress. The acting is my primary in interest, but I believe that if I know all other levels, as directing, writing, uh, art direction, cinematography, it makes me a better actress because I can feel it from all different aspects. It's like when I do that, all my senses work. It helps me to grow as an actress when I direct. I can understand another actor and as another human being and I can relate to what they feel. It teaches me a lot. I've grown a lot as an actor myself since I've been directing. Now, you've been accused of having yellow fever because as a director, you have made films that, you know, you primarily have Asian actors and actresses in your films. It is a very interesting question, thank you for asking, and yes, I've been accused of having yellow fever, which I think is very uncalled for, unnecessary, and insulting, because <laughs> liking a certain culture and feeling close to it has nothing to uh, with any fever. <laughs> I think it's very uh, unfair title, <laughs> label, and um, I like working with Asians, um, I don't know why, I don't know how to answer that question, like why do you like to eat certain food, like why do you like eat Greek food, or Japanese food, or Ukrainian food, you just like it, you have a taste for it, and I like to work with Asian people, but that does not mean I, that I do not like to work with Indian people, or Arabic people, or Caucasian people, Scottish, I Irish. I have all culture involved in my film. It seems that in the film industry, if a person who is not related to a certain culture wants to make films with these people, with, with, with the people of the culture, it seems like they're doing something wrong. And a lot of people are judgmental and uh, put labels. And I know other filmmakers who get the same <laughs> as I do, but you know what? I don't really care. I don't give a damn what I'm called, and if I'm judged, I seriously do not give a fuck. <laughs> My film's name is Sex, Blood, and Fairy Tales. And if you want to ask me what my film is about, read the title, Sex, Blood, and Fairy Tales. See, you told me to say without spoilers. Here you go. Um, it is a dark comedy. You know, you gotta be open-minded in order to even go and watch this movie. I'm a lead actress, I'm a writer, I'm a director of this film, and I'm a producer as well. It's a dark comedy, as every character of the film finds themselves in the worst possible circumstances, in the wrong time, at the wrong place. And we can see each character that I have, character development, how every character has many different levels. Uh, since I am the one who writes it, I believe in writing multi-dimensional characters. That you cannot tell, is it the good guy or is it a bad guy? Because it, we have all, we are like that. We, we, I don't know, am I a good person or am I a bad person? I have my dark sides. I'm a devil, I'm an angel, I'm hot, I'm cold black and white, I don't know. <laughs> and this is how my characters are. Um, a, a character, one of the lead a, uh, character is Alex Maislin. He plays my brother. And um, another one is Arthur Dudin. He is Russian. He plays my fiance, who I kill. <laughs> and it's not a spoiler because this is what it says in the synopsis. That's okay to tell you. <laughs> so, um, uh, Japanese actor Kojiro Shinohara one of the main actors as well. Uh, Tatiana Kot, she's a Ukrainian lady. And Mona Dipina, she's from Finland. Christine Hang, she's Chinese. And uh, Bao Tio, he's originally from England, but he resides in LA right now. And he flew in from Hollywood to New York to do a film with us. He's a brilliant uh, fight choreographer and actor. Okay. Also, uh, Ger Gerard Ademando, uh, Chen Tang, he's Chinese, uh, and Jake Choi. Uh, Jake Choi, he's Korean. 
you do have everybody from all over the world, huh? So my plan for 2013 is to finish my film, get a couple of words for that, <laughs> and move to Hollywood. What the hell? 